All right. So, uh, so, so Neodent, just for our doctors today, switching to another system, right? Why? Why Neodent? So the, the implant is a hybrid. It's got literally aggressive threads on the bottom. It's got a squared off thread halfway up the coronal on this for more compressive. The so what, who cares, is you can put this in any type of bone. There's no such thing as a perfect system, right? But this thing is damn near. So it's very basic in the sense that you can undersize your osteotomy when necessary to drive the implant for primary stability. Or if it's more dense bone, we do what? Open it up. Just open up that osteotomy a little bit more. Those tools are all in the kit. You guys have a, uh, a PowerPoint, it's a little bit thicker, that you share with one another that I see here that has um, you know, step by step what each of those tools does inside the kit, okay? The why, why the heck are we using this implant, right? The most copied connection in the world is copied because it's easy. It doesn't mean it's better. It's been around for a long time, but it's copied because it's easy for the doctors to use. So what, who cares is, unfortunately, we have remodeling. You get some saucerization or you get bone that remodels around that implant versus a 16 degree Morris taper. So if something is 18 degrees or less, aided by a screw, we have a Morris taper and that conical connection, okay? Now, Nova BioCare, who's not here, I'm not smashing any companies here, but they have a conical connection. They don't call it a Morris taper. Why? It is conical. What did I just say earlier? It has to be what or less? There's this 22 and a half. Okay? So, just to share some fun stories. When Neoden comes out and they start placing this implant, not crestal level, but for especially your singles today, right? Or bridge work. If you guys can push that implant down a half a millimeter, to a millimeter into the bone, watch this thing work wonders for you, right? We literally have bone growing up and over the platform switch on each side of this implant and up against the abutment. That's cool, it looks really nice on x-rays, I can show you a ton. But what I care about is what's on top of the bone. The tissue. The tissue. So I get nice hemidesmosomal attachment right up against the side of the abutment. You're not probing past this like you would on these other implants, all right? That's the why. Why the heck am I so passionate or talking about it? It's because it took me four months when I first came to Neoden over seven years ago. This was a head spin for me. It's different. That doesn't mean it's bad, right? And so my favorite thing day in and day out is having new doctors send me text messages and show me pictures all day long about that bone maintenance. Have I harped on this enough? I hope, okay. Let's get into some of the particulars. If you go into this guy, uh, last page on the back. Can you see that? Last page. This is huge and should be shared with everybody for your arch, your full arch patients today, especially uppers. Why am I sharing this or talking about this for a moment? On the apex of your first four diameters, a three, five, three, seven, five, 4043. The apex of those is less than a 2.0 drill, correct? So if we've reduced bone, if we're in soft cortical cancellous bone and we're trying to get primary stability, then you guys can twist this thing in with just a two. And you can still get good primary stability. That's how much you can undersize any of those first four diameters if you need to get that in. Okay? On your kits. All of your drills that are in there, similar to yesterday, they're an eight, 10. The silver bar is what I call home. The bottom of the silver bar is 11 and a half, okay? The drills are black, they're diamond coated to cut easier, right? You're gonna see the lines are gonna be easier when they spin on a black drill. And in the lower left, if you ever forget, just hold your drill up to the lower left of the kit where the key is, okay? That's this guy. Uh, last thing, I'm just gonna remind everybody this is fun, these are your sizes for the implant, but I don't care what size implant you put in. This can be a 3.5, right? And this might be a little bit bigger, it's a 3.75. That's a 4.0, right? 4.3, 5.0. Don't care how large the implant is we're putting into the bone, 
the top is exactly the same. It's a 3.0. So I can open 100 different things, healing abutments, final abutments, temporary abutments. I can just throw them in a bucket, OK? They're just open. I don't even know what it is. And as long as I see this, as long as I see GM Grand Morris, all your parts are going to fit every single time, all right? And we don't have here today, we don't have a 6.0 or a 7.0. It's not needed, right? Seven different diameters, one platform. Cool? All right. If you need to know, and what I'm going to ask is the folks that have this, make sure you bring this to your operatory. I'm begging you guys to pull this thing apart. I can get you more. But hang these. Right? Think about when you're making your osteotomy and what that type of bone is and know exactly what the actual drill size is versus what it says on the kit. So we say a 3.5 drill, right? It's actually undersized. Help me out. What size is it? What's the actual size of a 3.5 regular drill? Take a peek. 2.9. It says it right here. Everybody see that? You're going to see a totally different cliff today. I'm going to be in, in and out of these rooms like crazy looking at you guys and all over this stuff. Any questions here? What's this guy? Anybody see it? It's on the restorative side. Yeah, so a lot of people ask, thank you. A lot of people ask, what are those lines that are on there? You have it on this one sheet. We can hang this one on the wall too. If you guys get great primary stability and we have healing abutments here to one stage, if, if we do some of that in the practice here, I'm not sure, Dr. Arzani. Uh, some one stage or two stage, cover screws, healing abutments. We're gonna load the all on four cases with uh, multi-units. I mean, if the gum tissue is okay and uh, we see that it's a good case, yes, we can. Okay. But if we don't have like, the best tissue and, uh, I mean, there's a couple of things there sure. around suturing and all that. Uh -huh. don't mind, uh, but if we can, it's good. Okay. All right, you'll be with me all day. Any questions? We good. You got stuff to reference or come back in here, check it out. And the only thing I ask is hang some of this in your ops. Cool? Let's have some fun. Let's go. 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 Let's go.